We're going to go ahead and finish off our drawing using the miter line method. This is where when you go back and you turn on your construction lines, uh, keep the current layer on, turn on the construction lines, we want to use these boxes we set up in the very beginning to make a 45 degree angle here that's called our miter line. So we have that set as our current layer, select line, draw a line corner to corner, click enter, and now we're going to uh, take whatever geometry we had here on the top view and project it onto our side view. To do that, go back to your construction lines. And this time we're going to select horizontal. Anywhere where you have a feature that crosses this plane, go ahead and select it. And as you notice, what I'm doing is I'm drawing horizontal construction lines that again they extend for infinity across this section here. I'm going to select trim and trim off the uh, inside features here with this line. So we can a little more easily see what's going on here. I'm going to go back to make a vertical construction line this time and anywhere where those horizontal lines intersected my miter line I'm gonna make vertical construction lines that go straight down uh, again I'm gonna trim these out so it's a little bit easier to see what exactly I'm doing and why I'm doing it And we're going to go ahead and add in the features that we want. But before we can do that, we have to set up a couple of new layers. So let's go into our Layers Property Manager. For some reason, it's in a really weird place on my screen. And there I can drag it off. All right, we're going to make a couple new layers. We're going to call one of the layers Hidden, which we have not used yet. Uh, for that, we're going to change this to a different line type. Let's call it Cyan. And instead of using a continuous line, we're going to have to load a new kind that's a hidden line. Click OK. Set that as the line that you want. And we'll make one more new one. We'll call this center. Center lines define the centers of objects. We'll make it red so it's nice and easy to see. And we'll change the line type. Again, we have to load this and we'll just use a regular center line. So now we have hidden using cyan and a hidden line type. We have center using red and a center line type. We're going to select object as our current line type and exit out of our dialog box. Now we're going to go back and put on object lines on our drawing here. So select line Perfect. We're going to switch back over to our hidden lines. And this little edge here, denoted by this line, we would not be able to see from this view. We would be able to see it from the back view. So we need to select line. And uh, again, this is where that would be. Also, anytime that you have a circle or a hole or something like that that's symmetrical, you need to have center lines. So let's turn on our center line layer. Whoa. Select line again. And you want to pass all the way through the object line. So why don't you track above and below it. And we want to add that to the, uh, the other views as well. So... Let's repeat line for this view here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's just find the center, track out away from the object, 
on either side and click enter repeat line there's the center track out away from it on either side enter and we should extend it even onto our uh, front view here okay let's turn off our hidden lines because or I'm sorry our construction lines because that's just adding more confusion to things um, we can add in this line here that I know that we would see so we'll keep it on object layer for a second uh, we know we would see this edge I'm having a hard time tracking where exactly that point would be. And we can always trim stuff off later. That's not a problem. Let's go back to our hidden line for a second. I want to track where that one would be. So now I'm showing hidden features of that right there. And let's go back to our object line again and we need to track oh haven't put those in yet we're gonna add in uh, 30 degree angles here so let's turn on our dynamic input we want to get the right angle down uh, this should be let's see here 180 minus 30 should be 150 and let's see if it does it the right way. No, of course not. Let's try this one more time. There, that's looking a little bit more like it would be right. 150. Click Enter. Here we want this to be 30. Let's trim off the stuff we don't want. Perfect. We'll trim off the stuff we didn't want over here too while we have the trim tool selected. Now that we have those, we can go back to line. We have it set for our object layer. We want to track where, uh, let's say, this edge here would be and where this edge here would be. Go all the way out to our edge there. We want to do the same thing with our hidden line uh, that's actually showing where this corner is. So we should be able to go all the way down to the edge there. And we're going to repeat that one more time. Um, Okay, trim off the stuff we didn't want. Do not want this piece here. Uh, we're going to keep everything else. This is looking pretty good. Oh, I see one more thing that we're missing. We do not yet have that as an object line make sure that's in place we have our drawing finished aren't you proud of yourself we have a couple more things on the next